Part 6. Birth of Jesus to His Death The angel Gabriel was sent to a fine young woman named Mary. He told her that she would have a child who would rule as king forever. The child, Jesus, was born in a stable where shepherds visited him. Later, a star guided men from the east to the young child. We learn who caused them to see that star and how Jesus was saved from the efforts to kill him. Next, we find Jesus, when he was 12 years old, talking with the teachers in the temple. Eighteen years later, Jesus was baptized, and he then began the kingdom preaching and teaching work that God sent him to earth to do. To help him in this work, Jesus chose twelve men and made them his apostles. Jesus also did many miracles. He fed thousands of people with only a few small fishes and a few loaves of bread. He healed the sick and even raised the dead. Finally, we learn about the many things that happened to Jesus during the last day of his life and how he was killed. Jesus preached for about three and a half years, so part six covers a period of a little more than 34 years. Story number 84 An Angel Visits Mary This pretty woman is Mary. She is an Israelitess who lives in the town of Nazareth. God knows that she is a very fine person. That is why he has sent his angel Gabriel to speak to her. Do you know what Gabriel has come to tell Mary? Let's see. Good day, you highly favored one. Gabriel says to her, Jehovah is with you. Mary has never seen this person before. She is worried because she doesn't know what he means. But right away, Gabriel calms her fears. Don't be afraid, Mary, he says. Jehovah is very pleased with you. That is why he is going to do a wonderful thing for you. You will soon have a baby, and you are to call him Jesus. Gabriel goes on to explain, This child will be great, and he will be called Son of the Most High God. Jehovah will make him king as David was. But Jesus will be a king forever, and his kingdom will never end. How can this all be? Mary asks. I am not even married. I have not lived with a man. So how can I have a baby? God's power will come upon you, Gabriel answers. So the child will be called God's son. Then he tells Mary, Remember your relative Elizabeth. People said that she was too old to have children. But soon now she will have a son. So you see, there is nothing that God can't do. Right away, Mary says, I am Jehovah's slave girl. May it happen to me, just as you have said. The angel then leaves. Mary hurries off to visit Elizabeth. When Elizabeth hears Mary's voice, the baby inside Elizabeth jumps for joy. Elizabeth is filled with God's spirit, and she says to Mary, You are specially blessed among women. Mary stays with Elizabeth about three months and then goes back home to Nazareth. Mary is about to get married to a man named Joseph. But when Joseph learns that Mary is going to have a baby, he doesn't think he should marry her. Then God's angel says to him, Don't be afraid to take Mary to be your wife, for it is God who has given her a son. So Mary and Joseph get married and they wait for Jesus to be born. 